In this video, we'll look at how to set up a paper in Google Docs following the seventh edition of the APA Publication Manual. First, let's begin a new document. APA format requires consistent appearance, so let's select the font of Times New Roman in the size of 12. You may want to set this as your normal text to keep consistency throughout your paper. Do this by clicking on the Normal Text Options box and then the little arrow next to Normal Text. Then select Update Normal Text to match. I should note that besides Times New Roman Size 12, the seventh edition of the APA manual allows for a short list of additional fonts, including Calibri, Size 11, Arial, Size 11, Lucida, Sans, Size 10, and Georgia, Size 11. While it is acceptable to use those fonts in those sizes, it is our recommendation to use Times New Roman size 12 for all of your assignments. This will keep your papers consistent and it will be helpful for your instructor. APA also requires that all of your text be double spaced. So click on the line spacing options box. It's the one with the three small horizontal lines and the vertical arrow. Select double and make sure there are no extra spaces before or after paragraphs. To do that, click back into the Line Spacing Options box, and this time click the Custom Spacing option. Confirm that the paragraph spacing is zero for both before and after spacing. Now that we have everything set up, let's begin our document with a proper APA title page. First, we'll add page numbers to the header of the paper. To access the header in your document, simply double-click at the top portion of the paper. Insert the page number by going to the Insert drop-down menu, highlight the Page Number option, and select the first box, the one that shows the number 1 on the top right corner of the first page. This will add the number 1 directly to your header. But since APA calls for the page number to be against the right margin, Right Justify option in the toolbar to get it into the right position. For the seventh edition of the APA manual, the page number is the only information that goes in the header. You may now click out of the header by clicking once in the middle of your document. Hit Enter a few times to move the cursor down to about the two inch mark on the side ruler. The following information on your document should be centered and with the exception of the title, it should all be evenly double-spaced. In the toolbar, select the B for bold and click on the Center Alignment button. Now type in the full title of your paper using regular title case capitalization, which basically means you capitalize all the words except for prepositions and articles fewer than five letters. After you've typed your title, hit the Enter key twice to add two double-spaced lines. Now deselect the B for bold and type your name. Hit Enter again and type the name of your specific academic program followed by a comma and then the name of your institution, which for us is Point Loma Nazarene University. Hit Enter again and on this line add the course information including the course prefix, followed by the course number, followed by the name of the course. For the next line, add your instructor's name, and then add the assignment due date on the final line. This completes the title page. To move to the next page of your paper, click on the Insert drop-down menu, highlight the Break option, and select Page Break. Alternatively, you can click Control enter on PCs or Command-Enter on a Mac to insert a page break into your document. I recommend using page breaks rather than just hitting the Enter key multiple times to get to the next page. This new page should already have the number 2 in the header, appearing in the upper right-hand corner of your page. While an abstract is not usually required for student assignments, your instructor may request that you include one in your paper. Check with your instructor to see if one is required for your paper. 
And if your paper does require an abstract, it goes on its own page after the title page. To set up the abstract, on the top of this new page, type the word abstract. It should be both centered and bolded. Next, hit enter one time and select the left alignment options box and deselect the B for bold. In APA, an abstract paragraph is not indented. It is typically between 150 and 250 words, and it provides a concise summary of your entire paper. Once you've finished, you'll need to insert another page break to move on to the body of your paper. Again, you can do this by clicking Control Enter on a PC or Command Enter on a Mac, or you can go to the Insert drop-down menu, highlight the Break option, and select Page Break. Now we're ready for the first body page of your paper. Confirm that both the Center Alignment box is selected and the Bold option is selected. Type in the full title of your paper again. Be sure to capitalize all major words of your title. Hit Enter one time to double space, then select Left Alignment. Then deselect the Bold option so that you can begin typing the body of your paper. To indent your paragraph, hit the Tab key one time. When typing in the text of your paper, do not hit Enter or the Return key at the end of each line. Instead, allow Google Docs to conduct word wrapping. Google Docs will automatically wrap lines according to the margins and the line spacing you have set. And it is not necessary to hit Enter or Return until you want to start a new paragraph. At the end of the paragraph, hit Enter one time to add a double space, and then hit the tab one more time to indent. Alternatively, instead of using the tab key, you may use the first line indent feature in the horizontal bar in the ruler at the top of the page by moving it to the half inch mark. This will indent the first line of every paragraph until you change the format. If you choose this option, you'll need to adjust it if or when you use the center alignment format in the future, such as typing the word references on your references page. Otherwise, your text will not be properly centered. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Now you can move on to your second paragraph. Anytime that you use a source in your paper, you must provide an in-text citation to that source. In APA, in-text citations are split into two categories, parenthetical citations and narrative citations. Both types follow the author date citation system, which is where each source used in your paper has two parts, an in-text citation and a corresponding entry on your references page. In-text citations have two general formats, narrative and parenthetical. In narrative citations, the author's last name and the year of publication are incorporated into the text as part of your sentence. In parenthetical citations, this information is placed within parentheses. If the source you're using doesn't identify an author, use the title, or if it's a long title, use the first few words of the title in place of the author. When you finish typing the body of your paper, it is time to create your references page. To do this, insert another page break, again by using Control or Command Enter, or by using the Insert drop-down menu. You'll want to select the Center Alignment button and the Bold option in the menu, and type the word References at the top of the page. If you used the first line indent feature in the ruler at the top of the page, you might notice the word will not be evenly centered. To adjust this, simply move the horizontal first line indent bar back to the left margin. After you have typed the word references, centered and in bold on your page, hit the enter key one time and then select the left align option box and deselect the B for bold. Now type the information for each source, beginning with the author's last name, followed by a comma, then the initial of the author's first name followed by a period. If a middle initial is included, Include that with another period. Then comes the date of publication. This is within parentheses. 
and it is followed by a period. Now type the title of the source you got your quotation from. Remember in APA, use sentence case for the title of the source. This means you only capitalize the first word, any proper noun, or the first word following a colon in the title. Following the title of the source, you may need to type a publication title if your article was published inside of a magazine, a journal, newspaper, or book. Be sure to italicize the title of the publication. To do that, highlight the title, then go to the I for italics up in the top menu bar. Place a comma after this, and then continue entering any information needed, possibly including the source's volume number, issue number, and the pages your information came from. The APA manual says that the references section should use hanging indentation, which means that the first line of each reference is aligned to the left margin, but each of the following lines are indented half an inch. To use hanging indentation in Google Docs, highlight the line or the lines you wish to indent, and then you can either go to the Format drop-down options menu, highlight the Align and Indent option and select Indentations options. Then under the word Special, click the box and select Hanging and click the blue Apply button. Alternatively, you can drag the left indent triangle to the half inch mark and then return the first line indent horizontal bar to the left margin. Be sure as you continue to add references that you maintain double spacing for all of your sources and in between them. Online sources are used frequently today. One of the most common types is the online journal article. For this type of source, make sure you add the DOI, or Digital Object Identifier, at the end of the citation. A DOI is a unique number, often assigned to online content. Treat the DOI as a URL. Keep the HTTP or the HTTPS and leave the blue underlined hyperlink if it exists in your paper. If the source you're referencing has not been assigned a DOI, use the homepage URL for the online journal, magazine, newspaper, or book that you used for your paper. There is no need to include the words retrieved from for these online sources. As you fill out your references for each entry, be sure to include the specific information for that specific type of source that you're using. The APA manual and the APA website provide specific guidelines and a number of examples, ranging from books to online streaming videos to podcasts and even to Instagram posts. Once you're finished, your document is already automatically saved in Google Drive. Some instructors may require you to submit your documents in Microsoft Word format. To do this, select that option in the File menu, go down to Download As, and select a copy in Word format, DOCX. This will retain all of the APA formatting that you have done. Give the file a name and save it to your computer to submit to Canvas. This was one way to create an APA document inside of Google Docs.